Hello, I created this video to help you put into practice what you have learnt in this tutorial in order to be able to provide basic burn care for your future patients. When the victim of a burn injury is first seen by medical personnel, rapid assessment and treatment can be life-saving. Emergency examination and treatment consists of first aid, primary survey and secondary survey. Before introducing yourself, make sure not to wear a tie and always remember to roll your sleeves above the elbows and to wash your hands. First ensure it is safe for you to approach the patient. Stop the burning process and call the burn wound if indicated. In this case, it has already been done. Hello Chris, my name is Francesco Igra. I'm the ANEF1. How are you feeling? Oh, I've really burnt my leg and my arm. The patient is alert, conscious and is speaking without abnormal sounds. Therefore, we can assume that the airways are clear. The C-spine has already been stabilised. If that's not the case, please do so. A is done. Chris, is it right if I expose your chest and have a look at it? Yeah. Chris, I will have a feel like your windpipe. Okay. And we'll have also a feel like your chest and gentle tap and have a listen at your chest again. Is that okay? Okay. Take a deep breath. And a gentle tap. And now have a quick listen. Take the breath. Always consider coexisting injuries, carbon monoxide poisoning and circumferential chest burns. A scalotomy might be needed. Okay, the chest is normal. Chris, I will give you some oxygen. And remember also pulse oximetry. B is done. Chris, I will take your pulse now. And check your capillary refill centrally. And take your blood pressure. As part of C, remember to consider shock and hemorrhage. If needed, stop any bleeding with direct pressure, insert two large IV cannulae and take blood samples for cross-match and other baseline studies. C is done. I will now review and treat A, B, C. The patient's level of consciousness is A according to the AFPU scale. The Glasgow Coma scale can also be used. Examine pupillary response and measure blood glucose. D is done. I'm examining the exposed patient for burns and other injuries. Remember to remove all clothing and jewellery and cover to keep the patient warm. The burn on the arm appears white and lacks capillary refill. Lacks sensation, looks dry, and therefore is a full thickness burn. The burn on the leg has similar features. Wide appearance and lacks capillary refill. Lacks sensation, looks dry, and therefore is a full thickness burn. The leg's burn surface area is approximately 14%. The arm's burn surface area is approximately 2%. 
the patient's total burn surface area is 16% and therefore requires fluid resuscitation. E is done. Fluid resuscitation can be calculated using Parkland's formula. The fluid requirement equals 3 to 4 milliliters of Harman solution per kilo per percentage total burn surface area. Therefore, in this case, our patient's fluid requirement equals 4,800 milliliters, half of which is given in the first eight hours, and the second half is given over the following 16 hours. Monitor resuscitation adequacy with pulse, blood pressure, ECG, respiratory rate, pulse oximetry, ABGs, and or urinary catheter as appropriate. The most reliable and therefore the most important one is the urine output. If needed, insert an NG tube. If coexistent trauma, request extras such as lateral cervical spine, chest and pelvis. Give pain relief such as ibuprofen until pain is well controlled. A, B, C, D, E, F and therefore primary survey is done. Chris, are you allergic to anything? Uh, no. Are you taking any medications, including eye drops, over-the-counter, or alternative medicines? No, I take vitamins every day. Okay. And uh, have you uh, had any operations in the past or suffered from any illnesses? No. When was your last meal? Oh, um, about seven hours ago. Okay. Could you please tell me um, more about what happened to you? Well, me and a few friends, we decided to go camping for the weekend and we were playing football and the ball went near the fire, but I can't really remember exactly how it happened. I just fell in on my right side and then my clothes were on fire, I was rolling around and my, my friends called an ambulance. Okay. Chris, in order to um, not miss anything, I'd like to do a full body examination. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay, thank you. It is important to examine the head and neck, chest, abdomen, perineum, rectum, genitalia, pelvis stability, neurological system, limbs, and any others you feel to be appropriate. Chris, have you had uh, tetanus injections in the past? I think about 15 years ago. Okay. I will therefore give him 250 IUs of uh, tetanus toxoid by IM injection and uh, I would also like to reassess uh, the resuscitation and the most reliable way would be through urine output. Chris, in order to protect your wound, I'd like to wrap your leg with uh, a cling film. Is that okay? Yeah. you to French Air Hospital which has a, a specialized burn unit and they will take great care of you. The reason that he would, he's uh, being referred is because he has a wound greater than 10 percent uh, uh, the burn area is full thickness. Any questions for me? Uh, no, not really. Okay, well thank you very much Chris. Thanks. Bye.